morning everyone. Um, right, so we've got a nice little project today. Um, so we are going to be doing some electrics for this internal style workshop. Um, so we've done a project for this customer, um, which I'll explain to you in a minute. Um, but yeah, so if you are new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, the link is in the corner. If you turn your notifications on, you'll get a little message to say that we have uploaded another fantastic video for you lot. Right, let's explain what we've done and what we're going to do. So in this, uh, this used to be the garage, okay, but it was actually a full working style garage for um, the homeowner. Used to have a lot to do with classic cars and bits and bobs like that. So we've repurposing it now uh, and making it a bit more of a hobby room, should we say. Um, so what we've done, we've ended up bricking up these sections, like, well, that section down there and this section because it was just windows and doors and openings and all sorts of stuff. Um, we've also insulated all the floor, um, but then the homeowner's son, Paul, he's uh, coming and done all the floor in uh, and there's been a bit of wallpaper action going on. So nice, very nice, very nice. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is we are going to be putting, so we're going to change that shed supply, um, we're going to put that into conduit, okay, um, we're going to put a metal clad socket here and another one here. We're also going to be changing the lights out because these strip lights are pretty much broke anyway uh, above my head. Um, we're going to be putting a decorative light on but that's not, I haven't got that today so I'm going to have to try and sort that out. But the homeowners are well aware that there's generally quite a bit of stuff in the loft. So we'll see what we've got um, and how accessible it is. So first things first, I need to move this lot so I can get working. Right, so we all know that we have good customers, yeah? Most of us have really good customers. But do you have customers that make your sausage batches, tea on tap, and, hold on, a purpose stocked chocky wocky tin? Now, Nick, you can keep your Marylands, because that's what you need. Right, so we're at this first stage now, so, We've got a bit of that bit of galve in, okay, so we've put that through and yes, it's all isolated off, we're locked off at the other end of the board, which is down there, and we have proved dead. Um, so I could use singles, okay, for the rest of this, so, um, but I'm not, because I've literally just got those, those runs there. We've got a little 20 amp radial circuit there, um, so that is what we're, we're doing. So what I am now doing is actually cutting the 20 mil galve. Uh, like I say, I don't do that much of it at all, and I do quite like it. I think in, in certain um, jobs and stuff, it actually looks really cool, and I think this is definitely one of them, because it's a bit more of an industrial style look. Um, it is loads more work. Whichever way you look at it, it's loads more work, but I think it's a bit more rewarding. You have to be more, especially if you're using it as a decorative finish, rather than in, in so like if you're in an industrial unit or whatever, it doesn't, it's not, oh, go wrong, it's important to be neat and tidy, but it's not, the end of the world. But, like I say, I hardly ever use the kit, to be honest. So, the idea is obviously, like now, um, we've cut our end, we've already got our manufactured end this side, so on the, on the coupler, on here. So we wanna recreate that, because we've cut that off that length there, and we need to recreate that. So, what we have to do is, Use the old clamp, get it locked into place, and the idea is then you start with... Okay, so obviously we need to recreate that end on there, um, and so we can then fit our coupler on here, but I need to do a little bit more on that, so I'll try and do it. So I'll try and set it up like this. Let's have a little look. Okay, so the idea is, is that you wind it on. You could use lubricating oil and all that lot. Um, so you'll use the oil as such. Um, so obviously that now is where the last place it's cut. So the idea is, oh, 
So if that's sprunt, if you you do sort of a three quarters return-ish, sort of like that. And then as you turn back, it clears the threads out as that it, that it's cut, if that makes any sense. And then you go again. That's why one of the reasons why it takes a bit longer. Okay, so as you've wind back, it clears that that uh, that tap out or die, whichever one it is. Okay, so once more. Okay, and then obviously this is all the way off. Okay, might need a tiny bit more, but we'll see. Um, so the idea is that when you've cut that, there's gonna be a bit of a burr inside there. So you use it, obviously there's a deburring tool or a file is what generally I normally use. And the idea is then is that the coupler then will go all the way down to that stage there and then we can put the fitting in so i'm hoping this should be i think 720 um yeah so we can wind that out now to 720 so let's go and get that fitted okay so that's that fitted now um so the idea is that we've got our couplers on, um, fit those in, and then you put your, your bushes in afterwards. Um, space of right in the center. Now, like I say, I'll go and get the hoover now and clean these bits out, and then I'll wire that up with a bit, like I say, a bit of twin and, twin and earth is fine. Normally, like I say, you'd use singles if you were doing loads and loads of that, but we don't need to do that. But you see what I mean? It's a lot of effort for what it is, but I think once the finished product's on, it will look really, really cool, so. Right, I'll go and get some twin and earth. Right, so phase one completed now. Um, so we've got all that all back up, and I think I think you'll agree it's the right sort of fitting for this workshop style. Well, it's hobby room really, I suppose. Um, so that's those bits sorted, and I'm just going to uh, show you inside the loft now because we need to have a look at these lights. Um, there's also, which I forgot actually, there's a light for the garage to do as well. We're gonna put a strip light in there because there isn't, isn't, there's just an inspection light. Let's have a look, let me show you. Um, so this at the minute is what we've got. We've got the old inspection light for in here. So there isn't anything that's working. There's this arrangement here, um, but, We'll figure that out and then we need to put a light switch back on this wall um, because you can see there's quite a bit of stuff in here. So let's go and have a look in that loft. Right, so when people say the lofts are full. Yeah. I've got enough to build another car, I reckon. So I've got four wheels, cylinder red, load of instructions so we know what we're doing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oof. Right, okay. Um, so what I think we're gonna have to do is get out of there as fast as I can. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do is find out which one of these strip lights is the master. Um, trace out the wire, because they're gonna be obviously a link across from one to the other, I'm hoping. Turn that off. Uh, and then I can take the other one down and just cut the cables off because they're not going to be doing anything because I can't strip all that out. Uh, and then I'm hoping it's that one over there. And I'm hoping the wire's at this end, which would be fantastic. But let's go and get them down. Okay, so we've bowled these out now. Um, so what I mean by that is that we've separated these two up. So used my, um, my tester here. And I've linked the live uh, neutral out here and then stuck it onto the other end setting obviously onto ohms to trace whether that is actually the that cable that comes straight across and then I'll put it into Wagos, energized it, make sure there's nothing coming through to this end at all which would mean I've got a junction box somewhere else firing it off again um, which there isn't so what I'm going to do is going to take these two lights down now um, so they're both going to go get them down and we've got a bar 
light that's coming but it's not going to be in today so i'm going to put a little six inch pendant up for now just so this evening we've got some sort of light for them uh, and then it's when that comes in i can then just pop back and just change it over so let's whip these down and get that sorted <laughs> Okay, so I've got another little bit of a project now that I've got to sort out, um, which I wasn't down to do, but I've, I've got time, so I'll try and sort this out. Um, so, as we can see, we've got a normal uh, metal knockout, and then we've had the plastic front on. So, I've got to sort of try and, but it gets sort of worse as we go up. So I've got to try and make that as neat as possible without having to do tons and tons and tons of stuff. So what I think I'm gonna do first and foremost, we'll get this in some uh, galvanized trunking, because I think that, uh, conduit, sorry, trunking, uh, conduit, because I think that'll work nicely. That takes care of that, and then we'll look into this jazzy arrangement. Um, so, nice. Okay, so what I've been doing as well, just so you know, so I've got a bit of light. So I've now, ooh, for doing that. Um, so now I've sorted this socket out here. Uh, I had to do a little step in there because that's where the cables come through because there's a joist sort of here. Um, so I've got to sort these lighting cables arrangements out. So I believe that that cable there goes through to under cabs in the kitchen. Uh, and then that one goes down into plinth lights and all the rest of it. Um, so yeah, so a nice little little step, and funnily enough, I got that on the first attempt. Whether you believe me or not is the first, first go, first go. So, the other thing is with the, oh, what's it called? With the loft being absolutely rammed like that, because um, there's a socket going over, over here. Um, so with the loft being completely rammed, what I was hoping to do was pick it, pick the feed up over there, but it's not gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put some more conduit here go up into the loft space and then I can then clip it along the rafters and then drop it back down over there. So I think that's what, what I'm gonna to need to do um, to make that work. Um, but yeah, so it's a bit of a bit of a job on there. But that, that one, I'm gonna need some more bits for sorting that out because I wanna try and hide as much of that cable stuff inside conduit so it looks the part rather than looks a mess as it does at the minute. So. Working my way through them bad boys, and the customer's just said to me, can I have one of those? How rude. Right, so let's show you what we've done. So, like I say, we've put that one up to there, and then we've gone all the way across, clipped it down, and then dropped it to there to match all those up. So all the saddles are all the same heights all the way through, because it's really important, because it will look weird um, if they're not. Um, like I say, we're going to sort all this bit out tomorrow. We're going to have a little play around with that sort of section. I've got an idea in my head. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, so we're going to sort that out tomorrow. So that cable there is the one that we thought, or we, we presumed, is that that just feeds the socket through that way. Um, so that's what we thought, but it's not. That is the actual supply for all this room. So that was supplying this one and then goes off to over that side and then to that one and then that one. So massive, yeah, wrong. Um, so it means that we're having to, well, I've had to trace it basically from where it is. So as you can see, there's quite a lot going on in the garage, uh, garage of dreams. So we're now playing uh, box Jenga and it's down here. So you see that cable down there? So I'm gonna try. Oh, sorry, flip it around that way. So there she is. So that is where the supply is. So I'm gonna to have to tomorrow. So the idea is 
uh, a bit Blair Witch style. So the idea is tomorrow is I'm going to be back um, sorting all those bits and bobs out. I'm uh, going to run that conduit down from that socket there, down there, going to run it across into the that other socket. But also I think what I'm going to do is going to put, I'm going to have to mess about with all these lights and stuff um, because, oh, yeah, it's just a bit of a mess to be honest. It's, it really, really is. So that little single running across that runs all the way down to the light switch down the far end of the garage which is no longer needed um, but that is the permanent supply for the original garage light so we're going to get rid of that and put a light switch on this this door just the other side there so yeah been a bit of a job i've enjoyed doing the conduit stuff to be fair it's it, like i say it's not very often i ever do it but it's when i do do it i do enjoy it so i've made a bit of a dent in these which I've been trying, so although I can't eat too many, can I? I'm a fat boy. Um, but yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up. Bosh. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers for watching. Thanks, guys.